Websites that post mug shots and police reports online. Some of these sites offer the option to take mug shots offline for a price. I-Team reporter Jason Law joins us now to tell us about a class action lawsuit that's looking to stop websites from being able to do this. Jason? Who owns the rights to your face? Well, in Ohio, you do. Under state law, everyone has a right of publicity, which governs the use of their photograph and image. But what about your mugshot? Well, one lawyer is trying to end the practice of websites making money off of yours. Busted, booked, and on the internet. There are websites that showcase thousands of mugshots and police reports. I've made a mistake and, and now I'm still paying for it to this day. Andrew Hersey is ashamed of what he did two years ago. I mean, and I know I shouldn't have been driving, but I was, and I made that mistake. You know, I, I got arrested. Hersey was busted for driving drunk. He pleaded no contest, and after court costs and lawyer fees, he says his mistake cost him more than $3,000. Hersey is trying to move on with his life, with a new job and his infant daughter. But he says one website is hanging his criminal history over his head. It's, I mean, it's just really frustrating. Every once in a while, I'll go back on and I'll say, hey, is it gone yet? Maybe it's gone. Maybe they removed it, but it's still there. BustedMugshots.com features Hersey's mugshot with the option of having it removed. For $98, the website says Hersey's mugshot will disappear in up to 20 days. For more money, Hersey can pay for a rush removal. I understand it's public property or public records is available to anybody, but they shouldn't be able to make me pay to have that removed from a private website. Attorney Scott Seolik doesn't think so either, and that's why he's filed a class action lawsuit against several mugshot websites, including Just Mugshots, Mugshots Online, and FindMugshots.com. If you demand money and you threaten to embarrass somebody, that is a felony extortion in Ohio. And if you think about what these websites are doing, it is just that. Seolik uses a t-shirt analogy to argue his point. And for this, we'll use John Matarese's face as an example. There's nothing wrong with me printing up John's face on a t-shirt. But if I were to start selling those t-shirts for profit without John's permission, then Seolik says I'd be violating John's publicity rights. Essentially, Seolik says the mugshot websites are doing the same thing. They are essentially saying, we've got your mugshot online. We know it's going to interfere with your life. And we're going to charge you to take it down. And if you don't pay us, we're going to continue to embarrass your personal and business reputation. State and federal laws make some exceptions when using people's images, like when news organizations report news using someone's likeness without their permission. The operator of JustMugshots.com told the I-Team in a statement, We definitely feel like we provide a substantial news value to the public. We believe that the public has a strong interest in and a right to this type of information. The statement made no mention of the takedown option that could cost people hundreds of dollars. So there are probably thousands of people who don't even know their criminal history lives on, online. And if the charges against you are dropped or you're found not guilty, your image will remain online until you notify that website. And then still, there's a process to have it removed. A hearing date is not yet set for Seolik's lawsuit. Clyde? I'll bet that's frustrating. All right, Jason, thanks. Great report.